I'm Darcy Hodge, uh, Director of Infection Control at East Tennessee Children's Hospital. And in the news, a lot lately has been the enterovirus D68. And enterovirus is a long name for a, over a hundred different viruses that fall under that classification. The enterovirus and enterovirus D68 is not new. It's been around for a long time. According to the Tennessee Health Department, uh, we probably all have had it at one time, only a mild case of it and didn't think anything of it. But with children, especially children who already have uh, respiratory issues such as asthma, if they have illness associated with the enterovirus D68, it just seems to make their asthma worse. And these are the children that go in the hospital and can end up on ventilators because the D68 virus has compounded an already serious condition such as asthma. There's not a special medication for it. The physicians will treat the child according to the symptoms that present. It's nice to know if the enterovirus is present, but it, their treatment does not depend on knowing that that virus is present with the child that they're seeing and taking care of. Prevention-wise, the best uh, course of preventing it is with good old hand hygiene, uh, washing our hands with soap and water, using alcohol, uh, getting the flu vaccine so that you can eliminate the flu virus as an added illness on top of what the enterovirus may bring you. Uh, we, in fact, are more concerned about flu. This is the start of flu season, and over 100 children a year uh, die from complications from the flu. And that certainly is, is uh, more frightening to us here at East Tennessee Children's Hospital than enterovirus that may come uh, into our hospital. Parents don't need to know uh, exactly why their child is sick, but if you have a child that has respiratory issues, fever, uh, coughing, congestion to the point where they're not eating good or drinking good, then no matter what the cause, they need to be seen by a physician. We want to help our parents and we want to help children and, and we want to help our parents not be afraid of diseases that their children might come in contact with. So uh, feel free to uh, ask your physician questions, to call us if you have questions, uh, and don't be afraid to bring your child in if you have concerns about their breathing. Uh, we want to make your child well and, and we will do what we can to make sure we explain everything that is going on with your child. Uh, as easily as possible. Enterovirus is here in Tennessee, uh, but uh, we don't have to be afraid of it because we do know how to take care of it.